Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. You're watching our video comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the HTC One M9. 2015 is starting off with a bang thanks to Samsung and HTC. They both have their flagship phones announced. We have the M9 from HTC and the S6 for Samsung. Two are high-end smartphones in the space, but there could be only one that reigns supreme in this comparison. We really got to give Samsung some credit just because the design of the S6 is spectacular. It has now a premium feel to it thanks to the glass surfaces with the metal trim bezel. It just radiates really strongly and you know it just has a more compact, you know it's pretty thin and lightweight. The whole package is just wonderful though a little bit on the fragile side whereas with the M9 we'd probably argue that it's still the more attractive looking handset between the two. And now that's despite the fact that it's still using mostly the same design as its predecessor. You have an all metal finish giving it a lot more durability than the S6. On top of that with its new dual tone finish it has a nice contrasting look. And when you have that slight curve with its casing it just feels a little bit more comfortable ergonomic to hold in the hand than the S6. Now they have their they have common features like their IR blasters which allow them to double as universal remotes but they have their own specific ones. So for example, with the S6, you have things like the fingerprint sensor. You have also the heart rate sensor in the back to measure your pulse. You have built-in wireless charging. Meanwhile, the M9 has things like uh, a, a micro SD card slot so you can increase its storage capacity. And you have also the dual front firing HTC boom sound speakers with Dolby audio surround support. And we gotta say that audio experience is just fantastic. It's a lot deeper, richer, higher fidelity than the S6. The displays are nice on both but we prefer the S6 more just because from a specs point of view it is superior but beyond that it even has higher qualities than the M9's Super LCD 3 display. So on the S6 you have a 5.1 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display versus the 5 inch 1080p Super LCD 3 display of the uh, of the M9. Now the S6 is really amazing just because with the detail with the amount of details able to produce when you look at it very closely we're able to make out superiority though you know when you look at them both from a normal distance you really wouldn't notice it that much but it's just nice knowing that you have a higher resolution display of the S6. On top of that you have the more ideal color temperature color accurate screen and also um, and also the higher brightness output with the S6 so it's we have to give Samsung, you know, some kudos in really improving the display. It's not bad with the M9, but it's not really on the same level as we find on the S6. The experience, of course, two, two totally different customized Android experiences. You have the latest version of TouchWiz versus the latest version of Sense 7, uh, 7.0 on the M9. Now, with the Sense 7.0 experience, we really, again, like that it's a lot more attractive than TouchWiz. There's more of a modern touch with the layout, the way it looks, cleaner looking overall. Though TouchWiz still has a little bit of some of that cartoony elements that we found in the past. Now, both offer a new way of personalizing the look of the UI. You can now change the themes, but you have a slightly deeper level with the uh, M9 just because you could select a photo from your gallery and you could customize and make your own personal theme from that. On top of that, you have some useful widgets here like the HTC Home Sense, which will you know automatically change and recommend uh, different types of applications based on your usage and location. But with TouchWiz, where TouchWiz lacks in the uh, visual department, it really makes it up in the feature set. It's far deeper, and we'd probably say it adheres more to the needs of power users. So you have things like multi-window for true multitasking. You have one-handed mode for allowing you to interact with some of the apps using one hand, and a bunch more different gestures that that they employ, which really gives it. Again, like I said, a, a slightly higher degree of productivity than the M9 Sense experience. Now the two are pretty fast, very responsive, and on the surface, you re it's really hard to tell which one has the upper hand. Uh, the uh, the uh, S6 is powered by uh, Samsung's latest octa-core 64-bit base uh, Exynos chip, while the M9 is using the Snapdragon 810 processor. Now, when it comes to the graphics department, we would kind of give the slight edge to the M9. It just shows that in the benchmark scores, slightly higher scores, but not really all that all that greatly different than the S6. It's just that the S6 has a little bit more work to do just because of the uh, Quad HD resolution. But still, both are imp are just impressive with the performances. 
Flip room to the rear, we have the respective cameras. Samsung has a 16 megapixel snapper in the back with an f1.9 aperture lens, while HTC ups its game to a 20 megapixel camera with an f2.2 aperture lens. Now, we gotta say, when you're taking the taking photos outdoors where there's a lot of sunlight, you're honestly gonna like the results from both cameras. They take exceptional looking photos, a good amount of sharpness, and especially detail. But where the S6 really shows its worth is in lower lighting conditions. It's just far better at, at, a, at a, 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 a making the photos brighter and absorbing a lot more light in the scenery. So not only do you get a higher degree of detail, but photos come out sharper. Whereas with the M9 shots, they tend to be a little bit smudgy and very soft in tone. And we can say the same thing about their video recording quality. They both have 1080p in addition to 4K capture, but the 4K videos from the S6 and even the 1080p videos are far greater looking than the M9 set. For multimedia, both are fantastic. Honestly, you can't, you won't be disappointed. They're, they're able to play all sorts of videos. Um, we would say that the Super AMOLED display has a slight advantage just because of that iridescent glow, uh, especially an adaptive display mode where it adjusts the color saturation contrast to make it a more ideal experience. But the M9's dual front firing speakers, especially with Dolby Audio surround surround, gives it a greater depth, a deeper tone, and of course, higher fidelity than the S6. Call quality, we would have to favor the M9 on that one just because it's pretty much spot on perfect. Voices are clear and distinct. Whereas with the S6, the earpiece, sometimes voices have a slight hiss to them. When it comes to battery life, in our battery benchmark test, it's the S6 that has the upper hand in that category. But honestly, day-to-day -day use, you'll probably get at least a solid one day out of both handsets. But then again, just remember with the S6, you do have that, that added convenience of charging its batter battery wirelessly. When you're competing in the same space and also at the same price, you have to have something truly compelling for the consumer. And that's what Samsung is able to do with the S6. It's a fantastic smartphone. And in this comparison, it seems to be the better bet against the HTC One M9. The M9 is still one, it's actually the, probably arguably the best looking Android smartphone out right now. But when you compare it against the S6, in terms of the specs, the overall performance, their cameras and whatnot, the S6 just does a better job and seems to go the distance over its rival. So if you guys wanna learn more about either handset, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. It's John V, thanks for watching.